In chapter three, section three, we're looking at intercepts. Our objectives are to identify intercepts of a graph, graph a linear equation by finding and plotting intercepts, and identify and graph vertical and horizontal lines. In these examples, we want to identify the intercepts. The intercepts are where the graphs cross through the x and y axis. We can identify the x-intercept by locating where the graph crosses this horizontal line. If we assume that every mark here indicates one unit, then we can say that our x-intercept occurs when x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 0. For the y-intercept, we want to look at where the graph crosses through the vertical axis, the y-axis. And again, we're using one unit for each um, scale here. So our y-intercept happens when x is equal to 0, the y is equal to positive 3. In our next graph, we see that the graph touches the x-axis, so we call that an x-intercept, and it also touches the y-axis. So again, our x-intercept occurs where that x, the graph crosses through the x-axis, in this case it touches when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 0. The y-intercept occurs when the x is equal to 0 and the y is equal to 4. In the last graph, we have a linear equation. The x-intercept occurs where the graph crosses through that x-axis, and that happens when x is equal to negative 1 and the y is equal to 0. The y-intercept crosses through the vertical axis at negative 2. And that happens when x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 2. Here we want to graph each linear equation by finding and plotting its intercepts. We begin with finding the x-intercept. The x-intercept happens when y is equal to 0. We take our original equation and replace the y with 0 to get x minus 0 is equal to 2, and that simplifies to x equals 2. So the ordered pair that corresponds to that is 2 comma 0. The y-intercept happens when the x is equal to 0. We take our original equation and replace x with 0 to get 0 minus y is equal to 2. We solve this and we get 0 minus y or negative y is equal to positive 2. So that means y is equal to negative 2. And that corresponds to a point 0 comma negative 2. We're going to plot both of those points and sketch the result. When the x-intercept occurs right here at x equals 2, and the y-intercept occurs at 0, negative 2. And we're assuming that each one of these units is, each one of these grid marks represents one unit. We can sketch this line that goes through those points. And we have graphed our linear equation simply by plotting those two intercepts. Let's continue with the next one. Our x-intercept again occurs when y is equal to 0. Take our original equation, x minus 0 is equal to negative 3, replacing that y with 0, and we see that x is equal to negative 3. So that corresponds to the point negative 3 comma 0. The y-intercept occurs when that x is equal to 0. In the original equation, we're going to replace the x with 0, minus y equals negative 3, and we get negative y equals negative 3, or y is equal to positive 3. So that corresponds to 0 comma 3 as the ordered pair that represents the y-intercept. We're going to plot both of those, the x-intercept at negative 3, 0, and the y-intercept at 0, 3. Connect those with a line. And we've sketched our linear equation simply by plotting the x and y intercept. Let's continue with the last one. Again, our x-intercept occurs where y is equal to 0. By multiplying y by 4, 4 times 0 is going to be 0. So the resulting equation would be 2x plus 4 times 0 is equal to 8. 
or 2x is equal to 8, that means x is equal to 4. So that point that corresponds to the x-intercept is 4, 0. Our y-intercept, again, we let x equal 0. And we get 2 times 0 plus 4y is equal to 8. And when you solve this, you get 4y is equal to 8 or y is equal to 2. So that corresponds to the point 0, comma, 2. We're going to plot both of those points. 0, 2, the x-intercept. I'm sorry, back up. Uh, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 is the x-intercept, and 0, 2 is the y-intercept. Let's draw a line through those two points. And we've graphed the linear equation. For these examples, we're going to graph the linear equation by graphing the intercepts, just like we did in the previous slide. But in this example, for these examples, I'm going to use a cover-up method, meaning you're going to cover up the intercepts. Um, for example, we, we want to find the x-intercept. That happens when y is equal to 0. So if we were to cover up this, imagine that with our finger, and then the resulting equation by covering up that y term is x equals 0. So the y-intercept, the y-intercept we found by covering up the y term and we got x equals 0. So that's 0, 0. Now in this case we end up with the same thing for the y-intercept by covering up that x term we cover up the x term, the resulting equation we get is um, a negative 3y equals 0. So that means y is equal to 0. So the x-intercept is also 0, 0. The y-intercept is 0, 0. So in this case, it only has one intercept going right through the origin. In order to graph this linear equation, we do need one other point. For example, and again, you can really choose any point you like. If you let, say, y equal 1, the corresponding or the resulting equation is x minus 3 times 1 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0, meaning x is equal to 3. So that is another point. Even though it's not an intercept, it's necessary to graph one other point to graph the line. So we're going to sketch that point over 3, up 1, and we can connect that with a nice straight line that goes through that point. Since it only has one x-intercept, it's going to go through the origin, and it's also going to go through one other point. Let's use the cover-up method to find the x-intercept. And for the x-intercept, you're going to cover up the y term. So if I cover that up, that y is going to equal 0. So the resulting equation is 0 equals 3x plus 3, and we simplify this by subtracting 3 to both sides. We get negative 3 is equal to 3x, and when we divide both sides by 3, we get x is equal to negative 1. So that's going to correspond to negative 1 comma 0. That's we covered up that y term, meaning the y value is equal to 0. Now let's use the cover-up method for finding the y-intercept. If we cover up this x term, we think of that as 0. The resulting equation is y equals 3x, but x is 0, so we get y is equal to 3. So the corresponding point is 0, 3. We can sketch both of those points, negative 1, 0, and 0, 3. So we have an x-intercept at negative 1, a y-intercept at 3. We can connect those with a line, and again we're assuming that each one of these units on our graph paper is one unit. Okay. The x-intercept, let's look at the x-intercept. Again, the x-intercept, that's when y is equal to 0. So imagine covering up that y, and then the resulting equation would be 0 equals negative 2x minus 4. And when we add 4 to both sides, we get 4 equals negative 2x, x is equal to negative 2. So the corresponding point is negative 2 for the x, 0 for the y. 
for the y-intercepts, we're going to cover up that x term because x is equal to 0. And for that y-intercept, we let x equals 0, cover up that x, and the resulting equation is y equals negative 4. So that cor point corresponds to 0, negative 2. Sorry, 0, negative 4. Go back. y equals negative 4. Sorry about that. 0, negative 4. Now we can plot both of those points, negative 2, 0, and 0, negative 4. Draw a line connecting those. So we've graphed these equations by graphing the x and y intercept. Part D, there was only one intercept, so we needed to graph another point. Here we want to identify the type of equation, either horizontal or vertical line, and graph the equation. In my last lesson on section 3.2, I gave a hint on how to recognize these types of equations. Remember the phrase HOI, H-O-Y, and V-U-X. HOI stands for horizontal lines. They have zero slope. And the equations are always in the form of y equals some constant. There's no x in the equations of horizontal lines. Now the vux represents vertical lines. And we say vertical lines have undefined slope. And the equations are in the form of x equals some constant. There are no y variables in the linear equation that has just the x, those are gonna be vertical lines. So we can see that the first equation only has an x. So we can think of this as vux. So it's a vertical line with undefined slope and the equation only has an x. That means the graph is only going to cross through the x-axis. It won't cross through the y-axis. It's going to cross through the x-axis at negative three and it is a vertical line with undefined slope. Now our second equation is y equals two. So that corresponds with the hoi part. Horizontal lines with zero slope only have y's in them. So this is going to only go through the y-axis at positive two. So you plot your y-intercept and draw the horizontal line. In part C, we have x plus 3 equals 5. By simplifying this, subtracting 3 from both sides, we get x is equal to 2. And we can see right away that this is the vux. It's going to be a vertical line with undefined slope. The equation only has an x in it. So x equals 2, we denote that x-intercept, and we're going to draw a vertical line. Again, we are assuming that each one of these grid boxes represents one unit.